What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. Joe Car Collector. Today is Saturday, February 26, 2022. Um, I'm going to show what I got, but I'm a little pissed off. Just going to go on rant here. Um, first thing, I ordered some stuff from the post or eBay, it's going, or the U.S. Postal Service. As most of you know, I live in Georgia, so I was tracking my package. It was something cool I was going to show on here, and I'll be able to show it next week. But I was tracking the package. It arrived in Georgia and Atlanta. And for whatever reason, some dumbass thought it'd be a good idea to send to Oklahoma. I got family in Oklahoma, some of y'all may know, but I don't live in Oklahoma. I live in Georgia. So they send to Oklahoma to inspect or do whatever they need to do. And they send it back to Georgia. It's at my post office today, but it wasn't available to pick up because they were playing around my mail. So I'm not really happy about that. Then after that, I went to the post office, went and stopped and picked some food up, and they messed my order up. Um, you know, I ordered something in particular because I'm a specialized diet. They didn't. They messed my order up. I called. And they did take care of it. You know, shout out to the restaurant. I'm not going to say name the restaurant. They did take care of that. But I'm just kind of pissed off about it. I mean, I had food in the house, and they didn't mess the whole order up. So I ate what I could eat, and then I discarded what I couldn't eat because it was messed up. But, yeah, I'm just not really happy about that. But, you know, just a little rant. Let me um, show you what I got here because that's what you tuned in for. Now, I got this book, The Real Anthony Vesusi. It's not autographed, but this is an interesting book to read. Again, not getting into politics about this. You draw your own conclusions about this, but I saw this book. This would be an interesting read for me. Um, you can read if you like. I'm sure you can find this book on eBay or Amazon or somewhere if you're interested in reading. If you're not interested in reading this type of stuff, that's good, too. You don't have to, but this is something I thought I'd take an interest in. And also, what you really came to see was the autographs. I got two from Bill Lee, Spaceman. I know he used to write on the return envelope, right? Um, he would write one to Cuba, five dollars, something like silly wrote on that. So I guess if you write to him, don't send Duke, just send like two different cards and don't sign for no fee if you want to throw him and five dollars. You want to welcome to? I didn't, but I might start though because yeah, I usually hit him up once a year and get his autograph. Now, for people who do charge, well, he you know, requests a donation for him, his charity here. So Joe Thousand has a really nice autograph, and he also did a flyer promoting this book. And little notices, thank you for the donation. St. Jules Hospital, he always does that, so nothing new with this. Then something I really like here, and for the um, life of me, I, I don't know, I know why this guy's not in the Hall of Fame, but Roger Craig, I think I sent like 15 or $20, and he put three different inscriptions, or, or four, he put a different inscription on each one. No, actually, the, that's the same one. He put three times Super Bowl champ on these in the 80s All-Decade team. If you're on the All-Decade team, that's a lot to make the Hall of Fame. Please tell me why he's not in the Hall of Fame. There has been something going on behind the scenes or maybe laid up with somebody's wife or I don't know what happened. But if you look at what he did on the football field, the stats, he doesn't have like the greatest stats like Eric Dickerson, Walt Payton stats as far as the running back. But he has three Super Bowl rings. He's an integral part of three Super Bowl championships. Why is he not in the Hall of Fame? Terrell Davis, similar running back. He didn't play that long, but he was an integral part of John Elway's two championships. He's in the Hall of Fame and you mean to tell me Roger Craig is not? I mean, that's just, no, I just, I can't believe that. I don't, I don't, I can't accept that. Then another autograph I got, this is Greg Luganis, um, diver, Olympic diver for the 80s. Now, I'm not trying to be morbid or anything, but he has, he has AIDS, um, um, full-blown AIDS or HIV or one of the two. Um, again, I put his personal business out there, but it's a public fact. Um, I'm not sure how much long he's going to be with us. I mean, Magic Johnson has HIV for over 30 years, so he might be on what Magic Johnson's on. But this is um, an Olympic gold medalist, you know, in the 80s, so I definitely want to get his autograph here while I can. I got him before, but, you know, want to get him again, you know, just in case. I need to get a Magic Johnson, too, but that's he doesn't sign the DM. I'm going to pay for that one. But um, let's move on here. Need some eBay pickups. Still getting a bunch of wrestling autographs, so I'll show these here. And this one, he's in AEW now, so you'll definitely check this guy out right here. Kyle O'Reilly and the rest of these were. Oh, I'm not sure where he's at, and I'm not, I'm not sure he's still in the next team. And this one, Mustafa Ali. I feel bad for this guy. Basically, he's still on a contract with WWE, but they're not using him on television. They're basically paying him to do nothing, which is usually good. But if you're in a wrestling business, you only have a limited um, shelf life. And you want to utilize your skill and maximize your monetization of what you can do. And if they're not using you, you can't you know, promote yourself and make other money and get in other business ventures because you don't have any exposure out there. And I don't know why they're not releasing him. He asked for his release and they refused to grant it to him. So I actually feel bad for the guy. I mean, hopefully he'll come to some type of settlement. They can release him if that's what they agree to do. And 
You know, you can go to ECW, not ECW, AEW, tell brains 20 years ago, or go to another promotion and fight and make his money over there. But yeah, that's what I got. I try to calm down here. I'm still upset about my food. That really ticked me off, but they fixed it and hold out my package by next week. So I guess everything will be straight off. No harm, no foul. But yeah, I'm going to put the stuff up. I've got a couple things I want to do today and, you know, hopefully I'll be happier later on today. This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a KTL Car Collector. I'm out of here.